Hey guys, Adderson here from AndroidTechBlackSpot.com right now with Galaxy Note for AT&T which I'll be using to demonstrate how to flash team win recovery. Keep in mind this will work on any of your Android. I'm just doing on the Galaxy S3 and for the Galaxy S3. So as long as TWRP supports your device this will work and it only takes 35 seconds as I counted it before depending on your network so if you have a bad network not my fault so let's go ahead and get to the process first of all if you're wondering the ROM it's Blackstar ROM you will need this application so go ahead and go to Play Store download it and as always you need a rooted for to do anything on Android except for download application and play around with it so go ahead and root your phone if you don't know how to root it go ahead and YouTube it Google it and you will find it if you're AT&T Bell Rogers T tell us or anything click on one of the link that's popping up so you can root your Galaxy Note and let's go ahead and get to the process first of all we are going to go to the Google Manage application so once it opens it will ask you for the super SU or super user permission make sure you grant that permit it and we're going to go to press menu here we are going to select install open recovery script press yes and he found the recovery for you in IMG format press yes and make sure you check the number of your thing it said i717 which is what device I'm using and as you can see it's already started downloading itself and it will flash it itself so this is really awesome you don't have to do anything except for just touch install open recovery script that's it really simple and the user f user face user interface actually of this recovery is completely different to the one that you've been using that with this clockoma recovery I suppose and uh, they are completely different because they have same functionality but the layout as I told you user face is different and I tend to think that most people like this recovery better than the CWM because CWM is simple easy just four things on like menu while this one is more graphically designed and looks advanced so let's go ahead and get into recovery it's finished flashing right now we're going to once it's done it will tell you right there I was on the screen off mode that's why I didn't see it reboot recovery confirm and press yes and let's go ahead and boot into recovery and I will teach you what recovery does and a little review about it so once the phone power off you will see Samsung screen and now it will boot into team win recovery and that's the team win wallpaper kind of thing so big props to them for making this a recovery and as you can see the interface is completely different than the one you've seen before and let's go and get to the process here you will see like tabs about eight tabs install wipe backup restore mount setting advance and reboot so most of the time we were using CWM all these tabs were synchronized like backup and restore was one wipe was one install was one then reboot was one there was advance mount was included into advance I guess I think if I remember correctly there was no setting so let's go and get to the process here is the install button with you tap that to install any of the ROM and on the top of it you will see two different what am I supposed to say I'm supposed to say storages this is your internal this is your external and uh, if you notice on all the way on top it says the time 450 p.m. which is correct and 74 percent now I want to give a big props to team recovery right now because when I had my ROM on it did not give me a correct time it was saying 9 30 p.m. or something like that because I did not set up the time but team win recovery got it right so again really awesome and here you can select which your you want I don't have my 
external so I cannot select it but I have internal and uh, just pick whichever uh, ROM you want to download click it or touch it tap it whatever you want to do you will be right here you can here have two options to zip file signature verification and force md5 check which is really recommended for most of the ROMs because you know sometimes when you're downloading the file it might corrupt it and md5 is awesome key to make sure you have everything correct all you do is just swipe from right here to across the screen and it will start flashing the ROM and here you can add more zip too. so if you're flashing cm9 cm10 you can always add google apps with the two and clear zip queen so if you want to clear that we are going to be back that's good and let's go ahead and get to the wipe and of course you can guess wipe tab is all about wiping so you can wipe your cache delu cache factory system external or internal storage which i don't recommend doing it here but if you really have to go ahead and do it cache just swipe a gun again and that's how you wipe cache and everything else just works in this format swipe to get the command process so under backup you will see so many options that you never seen in two clock recovery which gives you system which is about 888 megabytes right now my data is 234 megabytes my boot image aka my kernel is 10 megabytes and uh, if you if i want to include efs that's 4 m megabytes and if you don't know i really don't want to explain to you because it's none of thing that really matters to end users who are just having fun with their phone then here you can refresh the size and set backup name which you couldn't do in clockoma recovery from recovery i know you could do it from the rom manager but you couldn't do it from recovery so this is another feature and uh, you can enable compression and skip md5 generation which i don't recommend because if you skip md5 generation next time you restore if you have back corrupt backup you might end up having sub brick and here you can select different i think the storage i don't have external as i told you then on the restore you can select with the restore file and again swipe it and it will restore i don't have any backup from this recovery yet under mount you got a mount system mount data mount cache and mount sd and it says unmount external mount external internal external internal internal my bad and this is how you mount usb2 and unmount it while you're in recovery so that's really good feature under setting this is the another feature that cwm never gave you you got zip file verification force md5 check on all zips you flash then other awesome tabs you can select and it will give you x so if you have theme for TWRP, you can do that. And if unfortunate thing happens, and if your time does not get updated, you can always go to time zone and do it. And you can always restore to default by pressing that. Then we can go in advance. Now, here is one of the advanced tab, which is really useful for end user. You can always fix permission from here. Just swipe it out, and it will start fixing permission. It's always recommended to reboot after that, but I didn't want to do it right now because I'm in the middle of the demonstration. Then partition, SD card, file manager, terminal command, reload theme, ADB slide load. Most of you guys are not going to use anything, so I don't want to go over it because it's something that developers and uh, more technical people use it to do whatever purpose it, they might have. Fixed permission is really recommended after flashing ROM so that way you make sure everything gets fixed and nothing gets left up reboot here you can reboot system power off the phone reboot to recovery on reboot to download more and this was just a little review slash how to flash team recovery on your galaxy note feel free to subscribe and like my videos i will see you in the next video thank you for watching guys